quick rundown. How did I lift this? Of course, like all my videos, short and sweet. I'm not going to do an install video because if you can't do these basic tasks, you probably shouldn't be doing it. So what I did, uh, bought some uh, spacers from Seth. I don't know if he still makes them or not, but anyway, so oh, here's a picture. Inside diameter, make sure it's the same as your strut. If you have aftermarket struts, they might be a different diameter, Bilstein, Coney, whatever. So measure them first before you buy some. I've heard of people using washers. Uh, I wouldn't, or make sure they're hardened. Uh, black pipe, just chunks of metal, whatever. But basically, pull the strut off, or pop it out the top, whatever you want to do. And it goes, see it right there? on top of the spring hat under the bearing and two inches boom done don't gotta buy anything else he charged me like 50 60 bucks i forget in the rear coilover adjusters and i use some chevy pickup front shock adapters Shock spacer installed. Not the best, but I didn't have to make it, and it fits fairly decent. Uh, there's my Rock Auto Bilstein stockish whatever shocks. Uh, I drilled out this bottom hole bigger for the bolt that came with the unit because I didn't want it to rattle with the small bolt, and then I could use the bolt with the stock shock where it won't rattle, and then it's interference fit, like I showed in the previous picture where it's banned, but it'll be fine, I think. I've been driving it for, I don't know, 10,000 miles with no spacers and of course when you unload the suspension it bottoms out and makes a big thunk so hopefully this will uh, take care of that. Maybe give me a half inch more lift in the back. Um, while we're under here, stock spring, coilover adjuster, two inches raised up. And then, depending on your spring, I had to heat this up and unwind it just like a sea hair, you know, to fit around this lip and then bolt it in the bottom like the factory. Uh, yeah. I don't want to fucking try to find Jeep springs or some other bullshit. Just bolt on some stuff. Gives me some lift. So, running. 2057515s. These are some junky eBay 4 for 300 or something. Uh, Rota, R O T A, not Rota, uh, wheels. Stock offset. So they, I wish they stuck out a little more, but for the price, I was like, whatever. I'll put spacers or get some different wheels later, but I'm on a little bit of a hill here, but sits pretty darn level. And with a tape measure, right at about two inches. So if you do similar, you could, might be able to get away with a 215 when I turn. A full lock, no rubbing, not even on the inside. It's darn close, but no rubbing. And the rears, it rubbed for a few day or two on the, the dimple for the gas filler. If you do some forum things. There's like a bulge down there. It'll rub through real quick. But anyways, didn't feel like doing Jeep springs and buy some clapped out springs and the car sits crooked or unlevel and why buy all that shit? No one, it's all just personal opinion. Just spacer it up. Good ride, stock ride at the line. Find the alignment shop was kind of surprised. They were like, we can't align that. And they threw it on the machine, stock settings, computerized, whatever. Bam, goes straight down the road, balanced out fine, doesn't shake, good to go. So, hope that gives you some ideas.